What's up out there? Welcome back to Melvar Idol Hardcore. We are on Gen 2, episode 42. Now, I've done a whole bunch of different things, cleaned up some things, and gone back into the rock and grind. So let's check out what's going on. Uh, currently, I am doing agility. Uh, astrology is done, and there's not really anything else that I want to work on at the moment. Uh, most of the rest of this stuff is going to be um, things that I would have to work on like I would have to have a, st a pile of stuff in the bank. So I've elected to finish off agility or work towards finishing agility off, meaning getting all of these up to um, level 99. So pretty much completing all the masteries of this. It's going to make a little bit of money, which I don't really need. But in the grand scheme of things, if I'm looking at this stuff, I don't really need magic stuff yet. I don't need runes. Uh, I've been running ancient runes because it reduces the amount of stuff that I have to keep on hand. Um, so I don't really want to work on necessarily rune crafting, although I could, I don't really need it. Um, I, I don't really want to work on like wood cutting, fishing, fire making, you know, stuff like that. Although I suppose I could do fire making, but that means you have to have the trees for it. It means you have to work on it. You know, it, it can work in the background and I could use the, um, uh, the potions for it, I suppose. But again, I have to keep stuff in the background. So I was trying to figure out something I could do to keep my inventory space down. And then I started looking at it. I'm like, you know what? Agility is not a bad thing to grind out. Um, makes me some money. I, I did notice that um, I don't have this one selected. So I need to go get these coal stones. I think because I was trying to save on global skill. Not sure. I should have this. Gives a little resource preservation and gold from thieving. Plus 10% uh, 10% food healing value. So I need to get that done. It's not much. Just I need some salmon and some seeds, but I got to figure that. I got to get that. I got to get that to make it happen. So have to sort that one out. Um, let's see. After the last episode, uh, I think it was Sandstrom co commented that I've been hanging on to some of this crap for so long, like the uh, amulets of looting and stuff. And yeah, I probably should get rid of them. For this account, especially because, I mean, for the other accounts, I'm going to hang on to them because you never know what you're going to need. And I can buy as many bank slots as I want. But for this account, I had to get rid of stuff. So I got rid of those. I also went through and I looked at, well, I don't have any now, but I went through, of course, it might be agility. That, no, I went through the website so that it, it told me exactly which was used for what. And a bunch of the gems. I got rid of a ton of gems. Um, basically the only thing I was looking at keeping was the emeralds for bolts and the diamonds for diamond luck potions. Everything else went away, uh, like the sapphires and all that stuff. I also went through and sold all the bolts that I had. I had a bunch of extra garbage in here. So rather than just hang on to it, I mean, I have 451,000, uh, emerald bolts. So I'm pretty good there for a while. I left it at that, but I did clean up a bunch of stuff. Before I got rid of the gems, I, I made um, 1.2 million of these devil tablets because I had them. So there's no point in not making them. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and made those up, took all the, I let it run for like a night or something like that. I didn't let it run too long, but I let it run long enough to make a stack of these. So I've got these things here and the synergy on this works pretty well. I know I, I was initially really uh, I want to, I should do a video on this someday, but I know I was originally pretty down on summoning because of how much it costs, but once you get into the mid to late game, it really starts picking up. It's the early game that kind of sucks. And I think this is more of a mid to late game skill, um, kind of obviously by the cost you have to spend, but, um, minus three coal required for smithing items. That's pretty cool. I mean, that takes a lot of stuff off. Uh, this one here for thieving, I like a lot too. Uh, there's masteries and, you know, get some diamonds and stuff. This has got some good stuff to it. So I just took and made some of them. I had so many gems though that I didn't use them all up. I just sold the rest, but I made, you know, a significant stack of this that's going to last. I figure all those gems going into that tablet is probably a good trade off because those gems aren't used for anything else really. So no big deal. The only two that I care about are emeralds, emeralds and diamonds because they go into stuff that I'm using for in-game combat. So that's what I stuck with. Um, I also worked up some bear tablets. So I got a bunch of those left. 
because I went and made, I had some diamonds, whatever diamonds I had, I turned into diamond luck potions. Uh, I made emerald bolts. Let's see, I also worked up some ancient runes because I think I was low on those. Let's see, where's my runes at? Yeah, so now I've got a million, so I don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, let's see, I did work up some yak tablets, so I built, made some shields and made up some yak tablets, so we're good on those. I can't remember who got them, um, because I th think it was the ranged, I don't remember, maybe it was the ranged character, because, yeah, I'd run out, yeah, I, well, I'd ran out or got close to running out, so I, sw or I switched them out, and that, I think I might have switched them out. I think I was using the... Yeah, maybe not. But I had the... Yeah, maybe it was the wolf. I'm pretty sure I switched those out. I like the Yak Tablet because it gives you an extra defense bonus. 2% um, damage reduction against ranged if you're using melee. 2% uh, damage reduction against melee if you're using magic. And 2% uh, damage reduction for magic against... I think that's on top of the 1% that you get from the axe. That's like 3% damage reduction. Or I'm not sure if it's 2 total or 3 total. You know, 2 plus 1 or just an additional one. What It doesn't matter. I like that synergy. Crafted up some stuff and made it. Let's see. I did a bunch of gem mining um, to make some of the other things that I talked about. The bolts. And then I'm on the rock and grind. Um, I only have 31 of these things right now. And... I guess I would show this is the setup I'm using. Um, with the two pieces of Slayer gear, you get the Slayer area negation for whatever that's worth. I uh, need to be in the Slayer area, I suppose. Um, so it, it, attack interval, it basically slows you down. So if you don't put this stuff on, um, you slow down a little bit. But with everything I've got on, it's a 0%. So I've got this stuff on for the... Doubling items, chance to double items in combat, double loot in combat. Uh, these two give you that. They also give you the area negation effect. And then I've got the infernal cape um, and the earth layered shield because of the damage reduction, along with all of the Ragnar suit, like the entire thing. So, plus the, you know, the damage reduction against ranged with the synergy down here. So, with all of this, I. I, you know, from what I understand, the Ragnar suit's supposed to let you attack things a lot faster and do more damage and hit harder and clear stuff quicker. So with this combination of things equipped, I have a little bit of melee accuracy with the whetstones and I'm running diamond luck potions. I was running the melee accuracy here, but I thought I'd switch over to diamond luck and see how that goes for a little while. But the rest of it's all the Ragnar gear and of course the title edge that I, now that I have that. So, trying to push as much defense as possible, much damage reduction, that seems to be the thing you want to have the highest. And then, you know, the rest of this that makes things go quicker as far as damage goes. The only thing I can't put on is the helmet, but no big deal. Um, which I could put the helmet on, I just want the, I just want the Slayer helmet. So, um, and if I do equip the... Ragnar helmet, the only difference would be 1% damage reduction. Get a little bit of defense and strength and stuff, but I don't think it's that. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so that's the setup I am running for that to kill these rockins off. And you notice I have a ton of Slayer coin. I have not bothered to open up the, um, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I have not bothered to open up the Unhallowed Wasteland. This here is something I want to wait on. I want this done. I, I've got the other weapons, so I've got the Tidal Edge, I've got the Ocean Song, I just need the, I just need this weapon here. So, that is kind of where we're at. I'm planning on pushing the Rock and Grind during the day, uh, run it here on my laptop, let that roll all day, see what I can get there. And then at night, I think I'll work on the agility stuff a little more, um, keep this thing rolling. Uh, the biggest thing I'm looking for on the agility side is... Anything that has, I just need to go down here. Any of these that have a negative. So once you get this to level 99, uh, this is at 73 mastery. Once you get these to 99 mastery, these red numbers get cut in half. So in my opinion, the quicker to get that done, the better. And 
right now I'm basically set up for combat and this is going to be my combat setup. So this is what I like. This is, these are already at 99. So all I'm really doing is getting all of the agility stuff done. So if I ever used, were to use the other stuff, the negative, the negative effects are kind of softened a little bit. You lose half of it. And that is, once you hit 99, passive devos or have for this obstacle only. So that's all I'm really doing. Making a little bit of money. Not making a whole lot because I don't have everything changed on here, but I don't want to change stuff. Uh, this also isn't costing me anything. And I can, you know, once I get this done, I can get rid of these performance enhancing potions or just run them out and not care about them. I don't know. It, it There's a lot of possibilities here. Make a little bit of extra money, get these things, get these negatives knocked down. I think it's all worth it. So that's kind of it. And that's where we're going. So that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.